this is Warlord. Today we're going to take a look at how easy it is to create and use more than one camera. And we're also going to use the camera switch so that we can make camera cuts between them up and down the timeline. So let's get started. I've loaded one of the project scenes that comes with iClone 8. I've put a few dummies in there and I've animated them so that we'll have something to work with. Now before I get started on adding cameras, I'm going to select this street light, hold down control, and duplicate it by moving it over. Then I'm going to move it up. Then I'm going to hit Shift K to bring up multi duplicate. I'm going to line them up that way. And then I'm going to go this way. And hit OK. Now that just gives us a little more light into the scene. Okay now. If we were going to say highlight this person over here first, then what we're going to do is come up to create camera, linear camera, and then you come back and select your character or part of the character, hit home, and that will focus you in on that character. And from here, you just set your camera angle. Okay, from here, we're going to go back to preview camera. And we're going to create another camera. Then we'll highlight this couple over here. So we'll select one of them. Hit the home key. And from here you can set your camera angle. Okay, another thing we need to do here is probably a little bit of housekeeping. So what I would do would be to come in and at least call this couple. And we can call this door cam. In fact, you may want to add cam to the end of this, depending on how complicated your scene is. Okay, let's go back out to our preview camera. I'm going to create another camera. Select this character. Hit home, just like we have in the other cases. Only, I am going to pull back here a little. Maybe not that far. What we did was run, I ran into the other building. We'll pull back like this. Then we want to come up and hit this with that camera selected. We'll make sure we have that camera up. We haven't renamed it, so it's just called camera. I'm going to come over here and set it. to look at this character. And then it will continue to point towards that character as it walks off. And while we're at it, let's go back and I'm going to rename this walking cam. You can call it character cam. Whatever you want to do. And then I'll clean that up for us. That's just a good habit to get into. Now once again I'm just going to move out to the preview camera. And we're going to come over here and we're going to open our timeline. And we're not really going to need anything else. Like right now, the only reason walking cam up is because it's selected, but we don't really actually need that up. What we're going to work on is just going to be this switch. We don't even need project up, so let's take that off for right now. First thing I'm going to do is come over into this area somewhere, right click, go to my camera list, and I'm going to select whatever camera I want first. Now, I didn't do that on the first frame, so I need to pull back to the first frame. Then, what I'm doing is holding down Alt and rolling my middle uh, mouse wheel. And let's just go, say, somewhere in this area. Right click, camera. Let's go to couple cam. And we'll just keep moving down. Camera list. Walking cam. And here is what we have so far. 
if we come up here and hit switch. Otherwise, you're not going to see anything. And this is a common mistake amongst beginners. I think we've all done it. You'll come back here to play and you don't see anything changing. That's because you have to go up here and select the switch. Now we'll let it play out. You can move these if you don't like the timing. Events will probably tell you when you're going to change cameras more than anything. But during a demo, it may just be arbitrary as you go up and down. And you don't have to, I mean, you can go through these as many times as you want in whatever order that you think is relevant to what you're trying to do. And then when you run it, you'll see it switch. The longer between these frames, the more distance between them, the longer it'll be between cameras it changes. Or between camera switches. Now we can come in, of course, and adjust these any way we want to adjust them. You can come up and grab them a few at a time and move them. And you could also come up to any number of them. Control copy, control V, and fill out the rest of your timeline if it's appropriate for your scene. So there's not just a whole lot to using multiple cameras. You probably want to spend more time learning about why you use multiple cameras instead of how to use them. And that's just going to involve looking into a little bit of film school aspects, which you can look up on the web is to watch certain camera angles you use and watch certain things are, are done certain ways. Anyway, I hope this helps.